Hey, welcome back y'all. So today I'm talking about one of my most favorite subjects, which is going to be color schemes. So we're going to talk about why you should have a limited amount of colors within your dashboard just to make it pop more and why you should not oversaturate them with colors. But before we dive into that, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below just so you stay up to date with all my latest content. With that said, let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about really is the dangers of colors. So what it can do when you provide too many colors within your dashboard is it oversaturates dashboards that you really don't know where you're going to focus. So for the intended audience, what you don't want to do is provide too many primary colors and it detracts away from the main point that you're trying to provide, which is maybe a few KPIs, maybe it's just one KPI, but it really depends on what your dashboard is really used for. When we're talking things like sales, you probably just have one or two KPIs that are going to be your primary focus areas and everything else is just going to be supporting. So really keeping it simple is going to be the best way to go. But just to provide you some context, what I'm going to do is show you two dashboards that I just pulled off the internet. And I'm not really sure who made them, but I just want to show you what something can look like if it's too busy. All right, so first up what we have is a COVID dashboard that I just pulled off the internet. So this one is really going to show you kind of case statuses from what I understand just by looking at it. So the rest of it's kind of blurry though, right? Aside from the KPIs, because if I look at the first chart, the confirmed recover disease by age group, it's kind of removing anything hospitalized and discharge, right? So it's removing two primary elements within the chart and also with the gender one as well. We have age distribution of cases. I'm not sure people's ages kind of go up to 200, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. And then we have additional colors kind of all over the place as well. So it's really hard to focus just by looking at this on what I'm supposed to get out of it other than the five KPIs up top. You also have slicers that are kind of in the banner on the top as well but they're blended in with the color on the background. So it's really hard to see if I even have a slicer up there. And then you have the date slicer that's in the top right that's kind of lost in the sauce, if you will, or it's kind of forgotten about. So it's not providing any sort of pop so that someone can say, hey, this is somewhere that you can go in the slice based upon time. Now there's a thousand ways to probably present this kind of data, but what I'd advise you to do is probably limit the amount of colors that you're utilizing here. You could turn these KPIs into a chart and then you could probably bold the top left table that's up there for total cases, confirmed, probable, suspect, just because those look like they're important as well but they're kind of forgotten about too. So it depends on really what you want to showcase. All right, so this next one is kind of confusing to me just because I'm trying to figure out based upon the KPIs that are in the middle upper half of this dashboard, you have top trainer, you have training topic and top trainee, right? So those are important values. It looks like you have icons there as well and icons are super helpful when it comes to really trying to make something pop, but the colors on the right hand side really take away from the KPIs that I'm trying to maybe visualize and, and understand, right? So as an end user, I'm not sure if my focus area should be on the right hand side of this dashboard or really in the middle upper half. You also have a tree map on the bottom right, and we're not going to get into the science of the entire scheme of how a dashboard should be created, but I do just want to talk colors for this video specifically. So on the bottom right, you have a multitude of colors are utilized as well that vary from the charts in the top right. And then on the left hand side of the dashboard, you have blue kind of on top of blue, right? So it's good to use different shades of the same color as you saw in my absence analytics video. But what I would recommend is not to use two of the same kind of dark colors. So what you have really here on the banner is going to be something dark and then it's supported really in the background here by another dark color and then there's not much lightness that's really brought into this dashboard based upon the charts, the bars, the columns, and the slicers that you see as well, right? So everything kind of blends together. And the only thing that really helps some of the KPIs pop are going to be images. Now images are going to be super helpful, but in this case, everything kind of blends together. So after I look at the KPIs, I now have no idea where I'm supposed to go. So those are just some things to consider. All right, so I really have three golden rules when it comes to creating a dashboard and assigning color scheme. So first is gonna be use your primary color for your key data points, for your key metrics, right? So this is gonna be the majority of the color scheme, the color palette that you're utilizing. So it's gonna take up the most amount of 
area and space within your dashboard. So for example, if you're using like purple and gray, then purple is probably going to be your primary color. So you're going to want to utilize purple. You also want to introduce a secondary color. So I probably want to use a secondary color such as another shade of purple just to provide some contrast. And then a third color is going to be that gray. So it's going to be that background color. It's going to be some sort of shading, if you will. So that's going to provide some contrast between those other two purples to really differentiate between the two colors. Now, the question is always going to be, you know, what kind of color should I utilize? So your company is always going to have colors that you can utilize, right? So you can use those as your colors. If your company does have really bright primary colors, really dark colors, you might want to just consider using shades of those colors and so then maybe incorporating a logo if you want to just because it's a professional design and then utilizing neutral colors like gray those whites those light browns they're really going to help make things pop as well just so you can see your kpis in a clean organized fashion and then lastly it's going to be color with intent right so what i mean by that is utilizing something like a dark theme so i would just consider it because that is kind of the new way to go when it comes to dashboards and it makes an opportunity for you to be able to make your KPIs pop even more because you have so much darkness embedded within the background, within the background of each chart, and it allows you to really showcase those KPIs to a deeper level so that there's more focus on those specific KPIs or other charts, or other data points. All right, so with that said, what I want to do is provide you a visual of kind of something I recently built. So this is really just an actions related dashboard. So just processing certain digitized things within a system. So what we have here is our primary KPI, right? So I have the total number here. And then right next to it, I have the breakout of all the individual data points that are associated to this number, right? Now a person can click on any of these and then kind of see that breakout. You also have support when it comes to bookmarks when you have different reports and then you have other additional KPIs as well supported by a legend and then other menu options up here and then lastly followed by your primary slicers that are sitting up on the bar so now what I did was I made all the slicers gold just so they can be easily seen so really second after the KPI that everybody's looking at here they're going to be looking at the slicers and then other key data points here if they're not going over to the chart itself because what i really want to do is allow the user to pinpoint down to their unit level so that they can see kind of what's going on within their formation now i chose a dark theme for this one just because it makes the gold kind of pop more and black and gold kind of always go together right and then you have the kpi that's kind of a light red just so it stands out compared to any other color that's on the screen now technically speaking right Red doesn't really go with gold or black. However, it is a color that really stands out here and that's utilized kind of universally within all my dashboards as well. So that's something else that you can consider is, hey, if you have a legend and a color scheme that you're utilizing for certain scales or data points, then you may want to apply that within this dashboard and every other dashboard as well, just so it universally matches. Now I'm going to drop the link below for this site that I use for how I really achieve my color palettes. Now some of them I do just think about based upon you know what I've created before, what colors kind of go together. If you're not familiar with color palettes, then that's okay. So what this site does is really allow you to find different accents that kind of match with your primary color. So for example, if I want to switch my primary color and I want to pick a blue, for example, I can easily see different accents that are going to kind of support my color scheme. And I can click on the color itself and then identify the RGB code and then simply copy and paste that into Power BI. So that can help when creating dashboards because now you don't have to play around with the color wheel within Power BI. You can kind of just go here, see what fits, what doesn't fit, and then go from there. You could also move around the inner wheel, which provides a different level of darkness or lightness based upon what you want. But once again, your primary color is going to be here and then your different accents are going to be those small little tiles that you see. Now, what I like to recommend is a dark or a primary color that really stands out. And then it's really supported by a lighter version maybe of that color and then maybe a lighter version of the accent or like a gray that's neutral that kind of supports any color really. So if I was to pick a perfect color scheme for a blue, for example, I would pick this one. And then now you got this color here 
and then this color of gray as well to support that contrast. And then if we wanted, we could do the same thing for red as well. Now with that said, using two to three colors for your dashboard is probably gonna be the best way to go just because it provides you an opportunity to not oversaturate the dashboard, identify any KPIs with a select color, and then support that primary color as well that's used in your dashboard with another accent as well, just so you can make things pop. But with that said, I hope this video was able to help you with all your dashboard creations. And then lastly, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.